In this video, we're going to focus on the virtual mat and take a look at some different ways to configure it. By default, SureCuts a lot uses inches as its primary unit of measurement. If you prefer, you can change to millimeters or centimeters, and there are two ways to do it. The first is via the Units drop-down menu in the Document panel. The second way is via the menu bar. Click View, then Ruler Units, and then select the unit type you prefer. You can also customize the size of the virtual mat. In the Document panel, click the Mat Size drop-down menu and you'll see some pre-configured options available to select. If you choose the Custom Mat Size option, you can also manually enter the dimensions you desire. For example, let's set our mat to 6 inches wide by 10 inches high and click OK. Great! Now, if I wanted to use that size again, I'll have to re-enter those dimensions unless I save a preset. To do that, click the Mat Size drop-down, select Custom Mat Size, let's enter our dimensions, and this time, let's check the Save Preset box and give our preset a name. After clicking OK, if we go back up to the Mat Size drop-down, we'll see an entry for the preset that we saved. And there it is! Before we take a look at Mat Orientation options, let's first add some text to the screen. Right now you'll see we're in portrait mode. If I switch to landscape mode, I'm presented with an option to adjust the objects along with the mat. Let's click yes to see what that looks like. The black triangle represents the direction the mat will be fed into the machine. If I change back to a vertical or portrait orientation, this time let's not rotate the objects with the mat and see the difference. In this case, you can see we've rotated the mat, but kept our text object in its previous position. To help with alignment and positioning, you can toggle the display of a grid on the virtual mat in two different places. You can do it in the menu bar, or you can do it in the document panel. Notice you can also customize the grid lines themselves within the document panel. You can also display concentric or cake circles as well. Notice there's a slightly different display if you enable or disable the grid. Let's go back and disable our cake circles once again. Disabling Show Outlines Only will allow us to see our objects filled instead of just the outlines. In the Workspace Alpha setting in the Document Panel, adjust the opacity or transparency, if you prefer, of filled shapes on the mat. This is really handy when layering objects, allowing you to effectively see through them. Let's draw a square on our mat and change its fill color to yellow. Notice how our square isn't solid and we can see the text object below it. If we adjust the alpha level to 100, our yellow square will be completely opaque. The higher the number, the more opaque, and the lower the number, the more transparent. We can also enable or disable the display of the rulers along the edges of our mat. Just right-click on an empty spot and select Show Rulers. To re-enable their display, again right-click an empty spot and select Show Rulers. 